you guys are not going to believe what Mike is up to today. And I'll give you a hint, it's not under the bus this time. I know, for once, right? Any guesses? Click send. That's my 30 day notice. Oh my gosh. We're going on an adventure. This is a huge moment. Ready? And it's sent. <laughs> wow. 11 years. I've been with this company for 11 years. Are you slightly freaking out right now? A little sad. Oh my honey. Wow, I didn't realize it would affect you this way. Oh, my own. Don't worry, you could always come back. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> they probably want me to already. Wow, I can't believe you did it. Yeah, it's time. I said I was going to do it on the first. Today's the first. So, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I know! Uh, kind of scary. It is. It's time to start a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Into the great unknown. It is, it is. You know, it's interesting when you see all these other people on YouTube traveling and doing, you know, traveling full time in their bus and seeing all these amazing things and stuff like that. That's an extremely idealized view of all the things that actually are going on to accomplish something like that. It's more, there's a lot more to what you see, what you see for sure. It's, it's much, much bigger than that. And so, you know there's so many unknowns and so you tell yourself yeah we can totally do this oh i can't wait to do that but when you're faced with pulling the plug on your job and just heading out like that's huge that is huge you're 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 ripping the the safety blanket off and saying let's go so yeah it's a little scary it's yeah. a little scary we've been living in the bus and it's easy to live in the bus yeah the hard part is making ends meet you know however you've come up with doing it so it's uh, pretty exciting right now it's like apprehensive and scary but they always say like i don't know who what the quote is and maybe we'll put it up on the screen but it says you'll never what is it something about like you can't achieve you won't achieve anything without risk you won't achieve anything of value without taking a risk and that's that's the truth next July right <laughs> <laughs> right of course I did I wanted to give you plenty of time because then I got 10 minutes to choose from <laughs> you're too young to go off on John's <laughs> if I can't go you can't go well I have to go I, built I gotta house. go do cool stuff in my bus I spent three years of my life building I hear you I'm gonna hate to see you go buddy yeah, you know, I, I was like tearing up a little bit as I was writing it, to tell you the truth. It's been a long haul, 11 years. Yeah, what I'll, are you guys going to do? Uh, we're going to travel around, man. We're going to drive around. You got any plans or are you just going to go? Uh, we don't have any uh, defined, really defined plans yet. We do have something in September in, in southern Colorado we're going to attend. But uh, uh -huh. other than that, uh, you know, we're just going to like go see things and be places and and uh you figure know it out as we go yeah kind of figure it out as we go not have a real total plan well good for you thanks man good for you appreciate that
buddy. All right, thanks, sir. All right, bye. bye. Well, that went far better than I thought it would go. Oh, yeah? Were you a little bit nervous? <laughs> well, I was a little nervous only because, like, Kevin, he's a cool guy, really. And he's he always has been very, like, a really great leader. He always comes to me and goes, hey, Mike, I heard you do this. And, I, you know, you, the best thing you can do in life is just admit when you're wrong. Yeah, like, yep, I totally did that, but it won't happen again. And I think he, they, he just respected the fact that I wasn't going to argue and make excuses for why I was dumb. I was dumb. I recognized I was dumb. I learned from being dumb, and I'm not going to be dumb again, you know? So, at any rate, uh, I knew he was kind of hurting for people right now because we have some injured people. You know, I don't want to let them down, but at the same time, like, sometimes you got to just do the things that you want to do and not do the things that other people want you to do. And it's, I think that's important in life that you make that distinction. So whether or not you take these leaps of faith in your life is totally up to you and you just sometimes you just got to uh reach down deep and find that motivation to take that step and that's what's happening right here it's 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 a little scary but it's pretty cool so well at least we won't be homeless <laughs> that's right <laughs>
the 4th of July is not over yet. Oh, I got Italian cake on America's birthday. Oh, oh my God. Well, we just watched the Wilcox fireworks show and we were questioning if it was on dial-up this year because there was so much buffering in between fireworks. I don't want too big a piece, I want a little one. Okay, I'll take the big one. All right. Okay, there's your small little wimpy little boy slice. Thanks. I'll take the queen size slice. Shh, whatever. <laughs> Going up? I sure am. Yeah. You coming? I am coming. What's the water? Yeah. Thanks, my owner. You're welcome. Not like me, but... Okay, can anybody who's oh, been oh. watching see the difference? Did you get that? <laughs> yes. Amazing. Between how it looked when we first came to this RV park and started filming and how it looks now. Did you guys notice? Do you see what I see? It's so much greener here than it was before. Oh, that was a nice one. <laughs> Separate storms going on right now. We're like storm chasers, only with no chasing. Yeah. Really lazy. We wait for the storm. We're storm waiters. We're storm waiters. Yeah. Totally <laughs> oh my gosh, did you just get that one right there? That was crazy. Gotcha? I don't know, part of it maybe. Oh, yeah. I think we might get some night rain. You hitting your bald spot? No, I. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow, that was so cool. For those of you who watch other bus life or van life channels, I'm sure you've heard other people talk about how messy or how dirty it gets so fast. Like your floors get filthy, especially if you have pets. They get so dirty so fast, you feel like you're sweeping 10 times a day. And the whole rest of the space gets cluttered and messed up so fast that then you're embarrassed to film for your YouTube channel. So <laughs> I just want to show you guys how bad it really gets in here, especially when we've been parked in one location for a while because we don't clean up as deeply and as often when we're not moving the bus. So here's what our bus actually looks like right now. Starting at the front where we've had all the issues with the water dripping from our air conditioning unit. There's been like towels and the rugs are piled up, tripod, there's all kinds of junk just everywhere. <laughs> the floors are filthy. Mike's lounging around. <laughs> Clutter everywhere you guys like everywhere there's space to put something down Carrie something has is put something there <laughs> whatever you know what he just cleaned up all his stuff two or three days ago <laughs> so and he still has a bunch of stuff look underneath here he's got his computer case and extra shoes not in the boot barn where they belong camera over there on the couch 15th hat of that style <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you never know when you got to be tactical and what the weather's going to be like. Yeah, and here's what happens to our kitchen counter space. Um, heater fuel, let's just say we're pretty certain that that doesn't belong to Carrie. And this torch over here and stuff, right? That's not my mess. It's horrible though, you guys. It, and because it's such a small space, the clutter looks 10 times worse than it even is. It's not so bad back here because this isn't our everyday living space. And there was a little bit of laundry on the floor, but I picked it up because it's laundry day already. So speaking of that, I just have to tell you that the laundry setup is one of the best things in our whole bus design. It's so easy having all your dirty laundry right here to just throw it right in the washing machine. And I actually have a load in here right now, so I guess you'll get to see exactly what we do on laundry day. If we're just at a place where we're boondocking and I just have one load of laundry to do, I have definitely just hung it out to dry on a line wherever we're parked. But when we're doing two or three loads or several loads all in one day and I just want to get it done fast, um, I just bring all the wet laundry to the laundromat and dry it all at once so we get it done quickly. Um, so. That's our awesome laundry layout. Oops, here we go. Ta-da! Now we just need to clean up the rest of the bus. Guess I never really had the chance to speak my mind. It's also true what they say, that you can get the whole bus cleaned up in about 30 seconds, right? We got it cleaned up so fast, in fact, that we're already messing it back up again. Yes. I'm making sandwiches over here. Mike's, uh, what are you working on? Sharpening? Sharpening tools. Sharpening tools. Mm -hmm. But everything else is pretty much cleaned up. Um, big difference, right? I haven't washed the rugs yet because I haven't gotten that far in the laundry. So, and here's the other rest of the laundry waiting to go to the laundromat. But I think the bus is looking a little bit better than it was when we started. Here's a fun kind of cactus sort of-ish plant that we didn't get in our Saguaro National Monument cactus episode. The century plant or agave. But this is perfect because when you drive by them on the side of the road, you can't really tell how tall they are. But seeing it next to this street sign and this bank side, you can tell how enormous this thing is. And this one, you can, I hear this loud truck and trailer right when I'm filming this. And this one is in bloom right now. 
in the middle of July when the monsoons have started. So that's cool. Redneck town with loud trucks every time you turn around, I swear. These are the kind that have very sharp tips on all these on the tips of each I don't know I don't think it's called a leaf but I don't know what the proper name for it is these are the ones that they say you can just break this sharp part off and it stays connected to the fibers and you can pull a long strip of fibers off with this needle on the end and actually use it to sew up or mend your clothing or torn jacket or something like that I don't want to get too close it's a little dangerous but look how big around it is. It's ginormous. People use these to make didgeridoos when they fall down after they're dead. Okay, I don't know how many of you are avid readers of our comments, but if you are, you might have noticed we have a subscriber who comments on every single video who lives in England. His name is Kevin K. And a while back, he sent us a care package of some things that you can only get in England that you can't get in the United States, like Jaffa cake, and he sends us English tea. It's awesome. Yeah, he sent us several, a couple of care packages. Yeah, so, couple, yeah. But this one has been really fun. He sent us some like treats and desserts and it's so fun on the things that we have to measure for you really notice the difference between england and here like they list the things you will need a whisk or fork that's exactly the same and then they say a measuring jug like we would never call this a jug <laughs> like we call it a measuring cup it's so cute to see the differences and then they don't call for measurements like we do in the United States, like in cups and half cups and quarter cups and all those same kind of fractions in teaspoons and tablespoons. They use liters and milliliters and grams and milligrams, so it's completely different. And I don't think it's them that's different from us. I think it's us that's different from them because they yeah. were doing it first. <laughs> Fortunately, our measuring cups, I mean measuring jugs, <laughs> <laughs> do have a um, milliliter option on the back so all is not lost we can make the recipe I just want to add that we landed on the moon and you metrics guys didn't so there we are this is his argument every time I always say the metric system is way smarter than the imperial imperial it sounds so arrogant doing math in tens is way easier than eights and twelves and all our weird stuff. That wasn't milk, it was water, really? Wasn't it? I don't remember. Boiling hot water. Oh, there it is. Empty the sachet, ours would just say packet, this sounds so much more elegant, into a large measuring jug and pour on boiling hot water oh. up to three quarters pint. 425, 425 milliliters level. Okay, here it comes. Whisking! Oh, and look at this! My right. oven mitt also from Kevin K in England. That's right. <laughs> Fancy. Bussy McBusface actually has two special events to celebrate tonight. And when I have something special to celebrate, I always want a spotted dick. Excuse me, sir. I can't help but notice that you have a spotted dick. Excuse me, ma'am. 
I just wanted to show you my spotted dick. Ah! Spotted dick. Perfectly ordinary in the United Kingdom. Absolutely shocking in the United States. Finally, after months and months of I'm having, waiting. waiting for this moment to have some spotted dick. Okay. Oh, First time I, ever. I, we forgot something. Hold on. There we go. Here it is. Okay, so this is what I was waiting to say, is that we've been waiting to celebrate two things. One of them is that Mike gave his 30-day notice to quit his job, and the other thing is that we hit 20,000 subscribers. Woo! Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't everything get... happened so fast, and then... If you guys have been following along, our tour video released on, uh, what was it, Tiny House, Giant Journey? Yeah. And our, our subscribers, like, bounced up 600. Like, well, they were to 500, and then it just went off again, like, literally five minutes ago as we were sitting down to film this. We're like, yeah. oh, my gosh. So we, that's what we're celebrating great. tonight. <laughs> Finally took some time to make this happen because it's been really busy. Now the time is finally right and we get to try our spotted dick. First time I've ever had spotted dick from England. For the first time ever. Is it? What do you think? It's really good. Really? Wow, it's really good. It's totally mm. different than anything I would have expected it to be. Like there's some ginger, it's like a ginger cake maybe. Cinnamony. Cinnamony, there's a little bit of gingery to it, and then the custard is off the hook. It's super good. It's a lot, it's softer than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because the package, <laughs> the package says sponge puddings, but in America we wouldn't call it sponge pudding, we would call it sponge cake. Mm -hmm. Like this is a very soft velvety soft smooth sponge cake it's similar, but with raisins in it yeah it's it's similar in some ways to like uh like the the, the consistency of like banana bread mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. of like a banana bread with like it's kind of moist there's a moisture mm -hmm. to it and then it's got the ginger and cinnamon and that's delicious mm. i'm pleasantly surprised i should have spotted dick more often <laughs> well, that was <laughs> Very tasteless, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, you guys, just a quick disclaimer because we don't really know exactly where we're going to be next week on Thursday. So if by some chance our video ends up being late, don't worry. Just give us time because it's going to be completely new for us being out on the road like right. this. And we don't know if we're going to have internet where we're parked and there's all sorts of like variables and in, in the direction we're heading. But I'll tell you this, we're going north Yeah. because it's too hot here yeah. and we're going to get out of here and go someplace that's not hot. Okay, when we say north, we're not talking like Canada north, not that far north. <laughs> someplace with some altitude and some... We're going to start out in northern Arizona in yeah. the mountains and there's some really cool things in yeah, northern Arizona really that we're going to be checking out so you guys definitely stick around come back next Thursday and the Thursday after that and <laughs> and there's some cool things like so I was a paramedic like you know last week but now we're I'm like full-time cinematographer so there's going to be a lot more effort put into capturing footage for you guys and really exploring and seeing things and we're really not going to be so limited by time that we have to just bounce in and get out and make it back and stuff so stay tuned it's it, it, the doors have opened it's going to be so much more amazing you won't believe it adventure is out there that's right give us a like if you like what's happening in our lives right now <laughs> totally. i'm going to give me a like right now i'm reaching right down Beep. That's right. <laughs> if you haven't hit subscribe yet, hit now's the time. You're going to want to hit subscribe now. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. And we know there's a bunch of you out there who are watching who aren't subscribed because we've looked at the analytics and like 60% of our viewers are not subscribed. I can't believe you guys. What are you, you doing guys, just popping in like Listen, that? when you just to start a YouTube, um, what do you call it? A membership to sign up? Yeah, sign up to 
to have an account. Okay. With, with, yeah. Yeah. When you sign up for a YouTube account, it does not mean you have to make videos. It just gives you all the privileges and benefits of being able to comment on videos and carry on a conversation with the people that you're watching. And then you can click that little bell and it'll and notify you when we put out a video. Yeah. Very cool. And there's going to be times where we put out a video in between our Thursday videos. It's going to be like a bonus video from time to time. So another reason why you want to subscribe and get the notifications. So. Good stuff is on its way. We're very yeah. excited. So cool. So, all right, we'll see you guys there. And we'll try to see you next Thursday. Probably we'll see you next Thursday. <laughs> Most likely. But if we don't, it'll probably be on Friday. <laughs> Have a good Thanks night, guys. Thanks, you guys. We love you. See you soon. Bye. So keep me moving.